Hello and welcome to RealDealEV.com. Today we're going to be going over Gen 3 Model S door handle paddle gear replacement and overall familiarization. So as you can see here, the paddle gear is broken. Um, you can see there's no circle on it anymore. It's just open ends. You'll see this sitting inside the handle itself. As you can see, it's a little different than a Gen 2 or a 2.5 handle. You don't see the micro switches anymore. Those are all gone in lieu of now the replacement the Hall effect sensor and I'm disconnecting the sensor itself and then it's also the light control. There's two different connections so don't worry about getting them mixed up. Uh, only one goes into one and only one goes into the other. So once you get those disconnected move the wire harness out of the way. The next thing you're going to get is a T10 Torx and there's two screws that hold the Hall effect sensor bracket on and so we're going to remove the one. It's a fairly long screw. There's the other. Once that's out, you're going to go ahead and just maneuver it around the wire harness that's still in place. Once that's out of the way, then you're going to remove the actual magnet itself, which is a Hall effects magnet. And to do that, there's a little collar that I'm sliding back and forth to try to show you access. Uh, basically, there's little fingers that grab on. There's the little fingers. And I have it slid back just a little bit right now. Uh, but those fingers grab onto that shaft itself. So once you release all of those little fingers, there's like six little fingers that go around it, uh, as you can see right here. If it the camera zooms in right there. So you got all those little fingers, they grab onto the shaft, and then there's a flat part in the bottom of the shaft where I'm showing you my finger. Um, that's one of the magnets that tells the door handle what orientation it's in. The next thing you're gonna do is slide off this little collar. Uh, I'm showing you the flat spot on the bottom of the shaft here. It'll only go on one way, so you don't have to worry about its orientation getting off. So once you pull that little collar off, set that aside, the next thing you're going to do is remove the two little Torx bits, the little T7s that hold the shaft. The next thing you do is you're going to take out the little C-clip. The C-clip is what holds that shaft in place. Next you're going to slide, start sliding the shaft out of the handle itself. Now there's two fairly big springs that may kind of get bound up as you're sliding it out. Um, but it's easiest to push out the one side and then grab a pair of pliers and make sure you don't mar up the shaft, don't scratch it all up, and slide that shaft all the way out. Now the whole handle's loose. There's the flat spot for the Hall effect sensor. You're going to take your new paddle gear from realdealev.com. Look at that pretty thing. and you're gonna slide it into place. Now you may see there's two little collars that are gonna pop out of there. You can try to put those back into the new paddle gear. Um, they're little Teflon pieces, but they are really hard. So you're welcome to put them back in. I opt to not put them back in. I have noticed no, no difference. So at this point now, I'm starting to line the shaft up Getting it through the first spring and through the first paddle gear, uh, you know, you just gotta take your time, make sure it's all lined up. Getting it through the second spring is fairly difficult. I find it easiest to get a flat tip screwdriver and just help push that spring so that the, the shaft goes right through the middle of it. And so once that's done, I'm showing you the spring there is in place. It's in the middle of the, the shaft is going right through the middle of it. Finish seating it the, all the way down. It'll stop when it gets to the other end of the handle. There's plastic down there. The next thing you're gonna do is not do that. You're gonna put the collar on first, just like that. And then you're gonna slide the Hall effect sensor on there, the magnet. And again, it only goes on one way. So once you get it in place, you'll lock that little collar in the next thing you're going to do is install your C-clip back into the center of the shaft. There's a new one provided in the Real Deal EV 
kit that you get from us online. The next thing you're going to do is tighten up your Torx screws, your set screws that hold the handle to the shaft. After that, you get your Halifax sensor, plug it in. Again, can't go wrong with the wiring on that. Uh, after that, you get your two T T10 screws, line them up, send them on home. And after that, give yourself a good uh, overall inspection. Make sure the gear is in place, that it's actually engaged onto the motor. Check everything out. After that, you're all wrapped up. Thanks for watching. Check us out at www.realdealev.com. Thank you.